I consulted with a family yesterday who were in, it was a mother and a son um, coming in for the, the husband and father and has early dementia and they were trying to figure out when is the right time to apply for Medicaid benefits here in Florida. And some of the benefits are pretty instantaneous. So like nursing home Medicaid, they typically get approved within 30 days. And even if Medicaid drags their feet on the approval, um, the actual approval date goes back to the first day of the month in which I applied. So that works really well. However, if you are home or assisted living or memory care, there is a waiting list. And I've seen throughout my career that waiting list be as little as two months. And I've seen as much as two years. So it's always a moving target. It depends on funding. The funding comes from Washington, rolls down to Tallahassee. Tallahassee breaks it out into the 67 or so counties that we have. And then each county or group of counties run their own waiting list based on their um, definition of neediness and where you fall in that spectrum. So we're talking about, you know, do you need care right now? And the wife is doing her best to care for her husband. And she said, you know, I, I don't need it tomorrow. I said, well, what about two months from now? She said, I don't know. I said, what about six months from now? What about a year from now? And of course, the further out we got, she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to need that care. And so we started talking about dementia in general, and I'll do some more videos on my experiences with it. I'm certainly not a doctor, but um, I've dealt with thousands of dementia patients on the legal side. And, and so I think I have some insight into that world and what the caregivers go through and what the patients actually go through. But the short of it is we were talking about dementia, and I said, listen, barring a miracle, or some sort of medical breakthrough. The reality is uh, dementia patients don't get better. At best, they kind of coast along for a while, but it will always decline over time and their level of care will increase. And you don't wanna wait until your back's against the wall and your caregiver burnout is you know, 99.9% .9 and you're about to um, you know, have a stroke or, or end up not being able to care for your loved one because of the stress, you want to get ahead of the curve and consult with a, a qualified elder law attorney early in the process and also um, maybe move for benefits sooner than when you think because it's not terrible to have benefits before you need them, but it is terrible to get benefits after you need them. Hope this helps. Have a great day.